the Pentagon's never-ending display of strength at sea is unstoppable. This time, it has launched another supercarrier unrivaled by any other nation. America's newest aircraft carrier is incredibly expensive to build. Why is the Pentagon willing to spend so much on just one ship? While other nations are still struggling to acquire their first aircraft carrier, the United States has already made significant strides. This is the USS John F. Kennedy CVN-79, a symbol of America's resurgent naval power and the successor to the legendary Ford class. The Pentagon has unhesitatingly poured over $13 billion into building this ocean-going giant. But that money isn't just for steel, machinery and technology. This ship is a political statement, a military message and an economic strategy. It's a symbol that America wants not only to maintain its dominance, but also to show the world we still rule the oceans. The CVN-79 isn't just big, it's smart. It's more than just an aircraft carrier. It's a technological masterpiece that could revolutionise the way America fights at sea. At the heart of its power is a revolutionary launch system called EMALS, the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System. Instead of using steam like older aircraft carriers, EMALS launches fighter jets with high-speed electromagnetic propulsion. The result? Aircraft can take off faster, smoother and safer, even with heavy loads. This technology allows the CVN-79 to operate more aircraft in less time, drastically increasing its attack power and combat efficiency. Every time a fighter jet launches from the deck of this ship, it's not just an aircraft that lifts into the air. It also sends a message of American power that resonates across the world's oceans. But behind all the glitz and glamour and overt technology, one big question looms that has many military analysts wondering. What exactly is the secret technology that makes the CVN-79 so different from any other aircraft carrier in the world. There has been no official word from the Pentagon. All information is closely guarded, as if hidden behind the Iron Curtain of American military secrecy. However, several leaks have begun to emerge from defence analysts who have been closely observing every detail of the ship's construction. They suggest that the CVN-79 is likely equipped with a series of new technologies never before seen on any aircraft carrier. The CVN-79 is no longer just a warship, but an intelligent platform that combines speed, power and digital intelligence in one giant steel body. Here are some of the new technologies likely to be implemented on the CVN-79. One of the CVN-79's biggest secrets lies in its nearly impossible to detect radar. The ship is coated with a radar-absorbing material, RAM coating, the same technology used on America's fifth-generation stealth jets. This coating causes the ship's surface to absorb enemy radar signals instead of reflecting them back, making it difficult to detect even by the most advanced surveillance systems. But its advantages don't stop there. The CVN-79 is also equipped with a hybrid AN-SPY-6 radar system, an innovation capable of detecting threats from extreme ranges, from hypersonic missiles and naval drones to enemy stealth aircraft, all without emitting a signal easily detected by enemy radar. With this combination, the CVN-79 can not only see without being seen, but also strike before its enemies are even aware of its presence. This is the new form of modern naval warfare. It's no longer about who's stronger, but about who can see first and stay in the shadows longer. But the CVN-79's defences don't stop at radar and stealth. The carrier is also protected by an integrated aerospace defence system that makes it one of the most difficult ships in the world to attack. On its exterior, it mounts ESSM Block II missiles ready to shoot down targets from any direction and Phalanx CIW's cannons, a final guard that can destroy enemy missiles in seconds. But what has caught the attention of analysts most is the presence of an experimental high-energy weapon, a combat laser system claimed to be capable of incinerating drones, missiles and even hypersonic targets in the air. 
Some sources say this system is the Helios Navy variant, a naval version of Lockheed Martin's high-energy weapon, previously only heard of in theory. So, what do you think? Will a giant aircraft carrier like the USS John F. Kennedy CVN-79 still be the future king of the seas, a symbol of absolute, unassailable power? Or is a new era dawning where drone fleets, hypersonic weapons and artificial intelligence will slowly replace the throne of this steel behemoth? Let us know your thoughts in the comments because one thing is certain. The future of naval warfare is changing and a new history is being written right before our eyes.